Howdy, howdy. Hi. Welcome back to not really horror tonight. Yeah, I suppose this kind of doesn't count as horror, but I think it's creepy and it's eerie. I don't know. It depends what people find scary, really. It, but I, I wouldn't class it as a horror, but I think it's creepy. I definitely wouldn't class it as a horror. You didn't see the whole game. No, but <laughs> I saw a majority of it. Yeah, I suppose. And I would class it as maybe sp spooky -ish. I think it's creepy, yeah. Creepy-ish. We're basically playing this because I don't really play any games, but I played this one, and I played this one because it looked creepy, and it's got handmade artistic thingies, you know, like claymation. Well, there you go. An award-winning win adventure game made out of clay and cardboard, and I think that's cool. It's an adventure game. Why is there no... Oh, there is a mouse. Good. That's helpful. So I just want to point out that when I played this, I had all the hints and stuff on, and I still had to ask Pixel Antsy for help, and I still had to Google answers, at, but in my defense, I also was playing on my laptop, and it couldn't even be full screen on my laptop because it kept crashing. Um, so some things would, were more difficult to find when it was that size, and so hopefully we don't have that issue. I'm not going to... Do spoilers or tell you answers. What? you got to give me hints at least so I, can I get give stuck. It... Oh, well, yeah, I'm definitely keen to give you hints. Usually... I always when, need hints in these games. When Pixelmancy plays games, usually... I don't get He doesn't want me to give him the answers, oh, obviously. Yeah, definitely. But when I'm... I'll Google the answer because I'm getting frustrated. And I'm like, can, you give, give, can I give you a hint? He's like, no, no. I only <laughs> want hints when I need hints, which is usually all the time in point-and-click games. So having you here will be helpful. If I remember, I don't think I remember all the answers necessarily. You'll remember. Yeah, I might do. You've I played through play. it, so you should. It'll come back to and you. And I'm also really curious if there's multiple endings. I didn't Google it too much because I didn't want to spoil it for myself if there are multiple endings. But just from the ending I got, which I'm not even 100% sure I can remember at all, I kind of got the impression, I was like, you know what? This doesn't feel like it's the best ending. I feel like there could be an alternative that's better. Should have Wikipedia'd it. Well, I, I did have a brief look because lots of people were saying, are there multiple endings? I think, so a lot of people had that idea. Oh, that was um, probably because... But I never saw confirmed that there were multiple endings. Yeah. And then, I, then, as I said, I didn't actually look into it any further because I didn't want to spoil myself. I think you played the last chapter not long after it came out, though, didn't you, or something? Yeah, I pretty much played the last chapter straight after it came out. So, um, because so I'd been waiting for it. People hadn't probably discovered the other endings at that point yeah but there was definitely a consensus that people thought there may be multiple endings well maybe we'll so, see yeah maybe we'll see or maybe we'll be terrible and get the same ending i got which i'm as i said if it, if there are multiple endings i think i got a not particularly good one but usually if there's multiple endings, it's it's to do with it'll give you a decision you have to make with multiple choices yeah. and it will be that, that well that's what i it. and with no spoilers that's what frustrated me is that the ending i got i felt like was it was because of a decision I made in that final chapter, one specific decision. But I had actually tried an alternative mm. and like died or failed or something. So I didn't know what, how to get a different ending, which again is why I'm quite curious about it. We shall um, see. And also from earlier on, I don't really think there were other paths. It was only in the final chapter that it felt like there could be different paths. So yeah, we shall see. There's a lot of talking. Good evening, Bonquin. Hi, Bonquin. How you doing? We we're just about to get started, so good timing. You can get the whole story. story. Let's start with chapter six. <laughs> Let's play it backwards. Oh, yeah, the sixth chapter. I thought well, there were only, five. Yeah, I thought it was like four or five. Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, is there something you haven't played? I, well, I'm just <laughs> looking at it. I'm like, no, is it? It's not darker, is it? No, that's just like the shape. Can you just hover over it? And go over the next one, uh, chapter five. I think I'm. Ooh, have you not played play. this? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure I have played Ooh. that. No, I have played that. <laughs> I just thought there were five. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Might be a mystery. <laughs> All right. We are like the spider. We weave our life and then move along in it. We are like the dreamer who dreams and then lives in the dream. I'm not going to pronounce that name. <laughs> Someone starting with A. Maybe that's a philosopher. I don't know who that is. The Sleeping Machine Presents. So I'm guessing this was The Dream Machine, Chapter 1. That was a... Chapter 1. No, he, the guy who made this. I'm pretty sure it's like a single guy. Maybe like a couple people. This guy. 
Um, Anders. I'm guessing sleep, sleeping thing, whatever he said, um, was specific for this, since it's got a relevant name. Hmm. Possibly. They are doing another game now, but I haven't really looked into it. It didn't look like as much my style. Is it claymation or is it different? I don't think it was claymation. I think it was, but I still think it had artistic or handmade elements. Okay, so I've actually I think you saw just this a little bit. disclaimer is that I've played the first chapter. Oh, uh, but yeah. I got to the end of it and it glitched out and I couldn't finish it, so I didn't actually go any further than that. And you've seen uh, most of what I did, so um, yes, it's not completely blind, but you also didn't see the end, oh. and you. You didn't see the whole game. I did not. So. Also, this game seems to have been written in Flash, which is interesting. Um, okay, fishing rod. Get that. Get the fishing rod. Get the shovel. We're going to need all these things. Get the wood. The woods. We've got a forked branch. Also... It's a forked branch jutting out of the sand. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I wonder how you'll be able to go along without the hints because I found the hints didn't tell me anything helpful, mostly, but maybe there were things that I wasn't aware. Hmm. Um, like it, it might tell me things like there's a forked thing. I'm like, yeah, I know, I can see. We'll see. Yeah. The boat has been smashed against that rock. Is that how I ended up here? It's strange that I can't remember something like that. Very if, if it wasn't clear, Pixelmancy doesn't have the hints on. That's what I was getting at. I don't, no. I think you can turn them on. You can You can turn them on halfway through, so if you get stuck, you can yeah. turn them on later. We don't need hints. I need hints, later. but I, <laughs> we'll see how we go. <laughs> You're going to be my hints. Yeah. So, okay. we we'll examine that. I think we have to put the fishing rod on this, our memory. Um, I think you drag. Oh. Yeah. That's strange. How the hell did you play this on a laptop? Dragging on a laptop is like with the most trackpad. No, my thing particular ever. laptop seems to have an amazing trackpad, which I didn't realize. I don't think any laptops have amazing. No, pad well, okay, trackpads. so we've we've had this discussion. I literally do Photoshop, like cutting things out and designing stuff with the trackpad on my laptop. So it can't be too bad. I'd probably lose my mind if I tried to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, <laughs> it drives you nuts whenever I do that. I've placed the fishing rod on the forked branch. The fish doesn't seem too interested in biting, though. Mm. We need some bait. We need a worm or something. Um, I think we have to dig somewhere. Ground. Go. Examine hole. What have we got? A worm. We've got a convenient worm. Perfect. I wonder if you do always have to drag and drop. I, f I can't remember what I did. I must have dragged and dropped. Yeah, if it's not working, we can just click it. That just examines it. Mm. Okay. Wormy. Go on the rod. Catch us a fish. Fishing rod is baited with the worm. Okay, do it. Maybe walk away. Give it a set. There you go. Woo! We got a fish. We got a fish. Okay. Fishy. We had fish fingers today. We did. We can have more fish. It's good for your brain. Good for thinking. Um, You're, okay. You've got to get used to that drag and drop. <laughs> I'm not used to that at all. It's very strange. Well, I'm not used, you right. know, like I Light don't um, have yeah. many uh, yeah. habits from games, so I didn't find this weird at all. Use fish with the fireplace. Can't bear to skewer the poor thing while it's still alive. Oh, okay, we've got to I can't shovel remember. Yeah, I was going to say, do you shovel it? Yeah, it okay. Okay. <laughs> Seems to have killed the fish. I guess that's what I did. I don't remember that. This kills the fish. All right. Toast it up. Don't burn it. I don't know it if that's possible good. or not. It looks like it's actually changing. It's looking all right. It's looking pretty good. So it's looking kind of dark now. It's good. It's perfect. Oh, ah, well. oh okay. So it's not going to let you. I like my fish medium rare. Grilled fish. Perfect. Ah, I see. It's pretty orange. It is very orange. It's made of lava now. Um, can we eat it? I think you can drag it on yourself, yeah. Tastes great, but... What's, what's this? this? There's a piece of paper in the belly of the fish. Dang. He ate it like bones and all. It's pretty yeah. intense, man. <laughs> you could die doing that. You could choke. 
That's how the game ends. How did you know? <laughs> it's just one of the endings. Okay, we got treasure. Treasure to be found. X marks the spot. Let's adjust that a little bit. Alright, so where's that in relation to us? I guess it's going to be like here. Dig away. What's that? It's a clock. It's an alarm clock. The worst noise in the world. Not that mine sounds like that, but just in general. Can we turn it off? Turn that off, man. Stop it. Oh, we're saving. Hmm, okay. The music seems suddenly louder. Yeah, why is it really loud? Just turn it down a little bit. About there is good, it's I quite think. quite a mild alarm clock if the music's that loud. These boxes are all we managed to move here last night. The rest of them, along with the furniture, should arrive later today. These two are filled to the brim with crime novels. Can't take a crime novel. Okay, another box. So these are the same dialogue. So these baby clothes on the yeah, say, I'm pretty sure they say different things because I think I checked every single one. Contains an assortment of bedspreads. This, the label on this box says Victor's Clothes. That's me. That's me. These two contain mostly books. Books mostly. It highlights both of them together for that. Oh, it also said these two, so I should have known that. Yeah. <laughs> Lamp, turn that on. Must have belonged to the previous inhabitants. Doesn't work. Could have taken it with them, Jesus. This view is much nicer than our old apartments. I'll miss being close to nature, though. It's alright, mate, we'll get you a plant or something. Painting seems a lot like my dream. It you does. Think? It's very much like your dream, sir. Must have fallen asleep looking at it. I don't know how. How would you even do that, man? <laughs> you sleep like I don't, couldn't even. No, I <laughs> you're like know. trying to do a position. They can't see on you. the bed. Feet on the pillow. Has a kind of tacky charm that Alicia usually hates. Button. We haven't installed the lighting fixtures yet. What kind of place is this? You have to install your own lighting fixtures. Wait, was there a, anything on the vent? Are you trying to give me spoilers? That's not a spoiler. Spoil it's there to be clicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a spoiler. It's just an old ventilation grate. I clicked everything when I played this. <laughs> Got more boxes. Yep. I mean, this isn't even necessary, but I definitely clicked every single box. This two contain some of Alicia's eBay purchases. I think I also clicked every light fixture, even though it already told me that it's not plugged in. Not plugged in, not plugged in, you know what I mean. There are no lighting fixtures. But just in case, I have a check. Fixtures. Is that how you spell fixtures? Yeah. I think sometimes when I look at words, they just start looking weird. It contains some of Alicia's student literature. Oh, we got a guitar. My old axe. Guitar! Looks like one of those blob ones. It Reminder does. of my dreams of becoming a stage musician. Once we're settled in, I'll try to get the music career brewing again. Good stuff. These contain parts of my this precious vinyl oh my collection. God. It's very precious. This contains some par parental reading material that I'll dig into as soon as we're stable. Ooh, this one's open. Must be important. Got some papers. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. What if I want to read these ones? Hmm? Well, you can't. Could be very important. We got some Telephones? I think these are walkie-talkies, aren't they? That's not the telephone. Why can't I pick it up? Does it need to be like Because yeah. that's not what you're trying to pick up. Huh? You're trying uh, to pick up the telephone. Why want these? What are these? <laughs> these are cool. I want those. I think those are baby monitors. Yeah, they're awesome. That's why I was wondering why I was calling it a telephone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why I said that's not a telephone and you <laughs> continue to try and pick them up. I wanted it. Okay. Guess we're not having those then. Box. This contains things for the nursery. Um, okay. It's our old phone. Can we, like, plug it in? 
not the right type of outlet. I knew that. I knew that. Oh, it's Alicia. Living room. Wait, is that a different room? This is a yeah, weird layout of a house. Oh, I suppose it's not that weird. Yeah, it's not sad. I don't think it's that weird. Empty box. Oh, okay. Sweet. Thanks. Yep, yeah, it might have made more sense later. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, I did this as well. I turned on every tap every time. Empty. None of them, they turn on and off, but none of them did anything, as far as I remember. Maybe we can have a drink of water. I don't think we can. When we get thirsty. Maybe that's the secret ending. Yeah, I didn't take good enough care of the protagonist, so therefore... Yeah. <laughs> That's a different ending. All right. Open that fridge. We'll have to do a market run later today. Yeah. Yeah. An empty fridge is a de de <laughs> depressing sight. I couldn't say depressing. It's depressing. Close it. We don't want to look at that anymore. It's depressing. Uh, turn. What are you cooking, Alicia? Why well, you got the stove on with nothing on there? Did that help? not let you turn it off? No. Oh my God, yeah, Alicia, you're terrifying. Jesus oh, you're Christ. awake. I thought I'd surprise you with breakfast in bed. Uh, that's sweet of you, Alicia. I know, aren't I sweet? You look slightly creepy. It's almost creepy. done. Could you set the table for us? Oh yeah, I could do that. Um, we don't have a kitchen table, Alicia. Don't you remember? It doesn't have to be a table. Oh. Anything square and flat will do for now. Well. Just grab an empty box oh, or something. Alicia, yeah, too, much, like too many clues, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta at least have, let me have some fun. Maybe later. Breakfast isn't quite ready anyway, so there's no hurry. Good. I've got exploring to do first. We've got to explore. More boxes. This contain various knickknacks for the modern living room. Oh, these three. Okay. I missed that. Salmon plants. Some wilted plants probably left here by the previous tenant. Bloody tenant. You're so messy. Crumpled paper. What does it say? Examine it. Seems to be the remains of a letter. Somebody tried to destroy it, but the fire didn't consume it entirely. I unfold it carefully. I might be able to read it. That should do it. Okay, read it. Oh my god. I better be careful when I rotate the pieces. They look very delicate. Okay, how do we rotate? What the hell? Yeah, it's kind of weird. This could take a little while. Okay, let's get this bit here. It looks like it goes about there. Rotate this one around. Yep. About there. That's good. They didn't do a very good job of burning this, i got to say. It's yeah, literally just completely that's intact. pretty obvious, yeah. Maybe that goes there. We shall see. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that placement. Alright, last piece. Alright, what does it say? To whom it may concern, I'm hiding this note in the hope that you, someone, won't find it something. Something is going on in the something. What does that say? But, in the butt. Something's going on in the butt. But I no something. Really what? Don't, don't know what. Tiny I don't know what. <laughs> I'm not paranoid. Look under the floorboard below the light switch in the bedroom, and you'll see what I mean. Whatever that thing is, it is mine, and isn't. I'm not. Oh, it isn't mine, and I'm not staying around to find out what it does. Perhaps you'll be able to figure it out, Travis. The Revious Tenant. Thanks, Travis. Oh dear. Yeah. Is that for the assembling the letter? It was a little weird, the controls. I guess, Don't worry, it's not all like that. As I was saying earlier, it's made in Flash, so I guess they had some limitations. 
Although, you should still be able to put some decent controls together using flesh. Some outgrown baby clothes donated by thoughtful relatives. Well, I think... How's outgrown... Oh, I get it. No. <laughs> I get it. I'm going to say, how's the baby outgrown them already when it's not even here, I assume? Dork. Um... I mean, I think you can see, like, art. Oh, the food's clearly red. Oh, wait, were those dishes there before? They were. Don't they worry. Were. Don't worry. Um, you know, like, the artistic style, the handmade stuff concept was probably the first motivation. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's not a very good mirror. Well, okay, it is. It's an amazing mirror. Damn, looking good. Hello, handsome. Is that it? Okay. Taps. Taps. Sweet. Those are all working. Chow hanger. Only one hanger. Presumably, the previous tenant was single. Shower. I'd love to get out of these clothes, but there'll be plenty of time for that later. Okay. Baby wheel. We need that. Lotion. It's Alicia's skin lotion. What do we need baby wheel It's expensive. Wheel for? I can't remember. But she swears by it. For babies. Nutrient blend of uh, echinacea? Echinacea, echinacea and sage. Something fancy. The preferred brand of the Neff household. Victor Neff. I should probably start using this stuff more often. You should do it, man. Gotta maintain those beautiful curls. Alright, is that everything? I haven't even been in all the rooms. Oh, wait. Was this where we were before? No, this is no. different. That's this where we were. Where you were. Okay, boxes. These two contain some of our winter clothes. Useless button. Useless button. A very dangerous rug. If you trip on this and injure yourself, Victor. Cat could be hiding underneath it. Yeah. It's her favorite coat. It's the only coat she's got. She wore it on our first date. Looks like there's something behind this box. Move it. We can look inside it. it. Contains blankets. Alicia likes to keep warm. Okay. Ah, why did I do that twice? <laughs> why did you click that? Mighty heel, man. Move it. We've got a plug. Telephone outlet. Cool. Okay. We've found where our telephone can go. We've got... An entry phone. Hello? Anyone there? Nope. Looks like an old ventilation grate. Very great. I think this box contains Christmas decorations. These two contain things for the hallway. Fraction of Alicia's shoe collection. Sounds like you. Yeah, I was going to say, this is us, isn't it? Except it's... no nursery, thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mail. You've got mail. Open it up. Pick it up. Oh my god. Read the letter. Come on. Prosser and Ankovich, Realtor Services. Wednesday, April 4th, 2009. Dear Mr. and Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Neff, Thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovich, Realtor Service. We hope you enjoy your new home for many years to come. If you have any questions regarding our services, or if you have questions regarding the apartment or maintenance issues, please don't hesitate in directing them to our head office at this number, 555-497680. We look forward to continuing to serve you. Again, I thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovich. Sincerely, Bert Sanders, President of Customer Relations, PCS Division of Prosser and Ankovich. Well... We have some complaints already. There's no bloody lights in this place. <laughs> it's not good. Um, okay, cool. Um, I guess we could plug the phone in, or we could go and have some dinner. Let's breakfast. Some bre breakfast. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what time it is. Okay, do we need to put it down here, or do we have to do it through here? Oh, that's probably got to drag. Put it down. Perfect. It's perfect. Who needs a table? That face. Have you found Jesus. something to put the breakfast on? 
I sure have. Um, I put an empty box over there in the corner by the windows. Great, then let's eat. Let's do it. Just sit down and I'll bring us the breakfast. Okay. I'm gonna... Up. Whoa, where were you keeping that? Isn't this magical? The first breakfast in our new apartment. Um, could use some candles at the very least. Sounds well, like a fire hazard. Yeah. If I knew what box they were in, I'd go get them. But how was it? What? How was what, dear? Oh. <laughs> Your first night in our new home. Did you sleep well? I dreamed a lot, so I can't have been sleeping all that deeply. Oh, what did you dream? I dreamed about eating fish. I dreamed about fishing. What did you do? I caught a fish. I caught a fish. With your bare hands? No, I had a pole. Oh, poor fish. That's almost cheating, isn't it? No. No, that's called fishing. It was him or me, basically. Then what did you do? I ate the little bastard. Oh, I was not even say that in here. Uh, I found a note. What did it say? It was a treasure map. <gasps> How exciting! Did you find the treasure? I was just about to, but the alarm clock went off, and the sound must have fused with my dream. That's when I woke up. It's strange how the mind incorporates real things into dreams like that. I've read that it does that for us to get our precious rest no matter what. It only wakes you up if it thinks you're in danger. It's comforting to know that my mind is looking out for me even when I'm sleeping. But what do you think it means? What what means? Your dream, silly. It means I want fresh for dinner. Um... I don't know. I was looking at the painting above the bed as I fell asleep. That's all. Somehow. I don't know how I managed to do that, but... The ugly one above the bed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to do something about that. Let's burn it. I knew you'd say that. You want to hear what I think your dream means? Sure. Do you want my appeasing answer? Or do you want to know what I really think? Give me the harsh truth. The hard truth. Tell me the truth. It sounds pretty much like your standard escapist fear. You're scared of the new si of your new situation and you're longing back to the simpler life we had before. The old cushy job, your old slack of friends. Don't say that about my friends. You know that's not true. Moving here, trying to raise a family with you is going to be the best thing I've ever done. It still sounds like you're viewing it like some grand adventure. It was just a dream, Alicia. Jesus. Get over it, okay? Taking it too seriously. I'm sorry, Victor. I guess the force of pregnant mood swings is strong with me today. The force is strong in you. Don't I know it. Um... How was your first night, my darling? <laughs> I slept surprisingly well, actually. You must have been dead tired then. Can I just point out that it's not this um, text TV <laughs> for the whole game. Oh. I think this is just like an introductory conversation or something. Good. Uh, yeah, usually I can't sleep at all in unfamiliar places. At least from memory. Um, did you dream about anything? I dreamed I was on a luxury cruise to the Mediterranean. I was on the deck in a fold-out chair being served umbrella drinks. You've dreamt that before, haven't you? Yeah, it's a recurring dream. It'll haunt me till the day you buy us that luxury cruise. Haunt us both, then. Uh, I suggested we go on a cruise. I don't think I could do that. Oh. I would perish in the sea. I thought it was better than flying if you don't like flying. <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. This is getting, yes, this is a very deep conversation. About all our dreams. Our hopes and dreams. Uh, quite a breakfast. How long have you been up? 
So it's about nine. Nine years. I was having a dream, but after a while it turned really weird. That's when I woke up. What happened? Do you remember the caretaker that let us in last night? Of course. Can't remember his name, though. Me neither. Except that it ended with Orton. Horton. It's Horton. Something like that. He showed up in my dream. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. To be honest, he sort of creeped me out. You could talk, lady. Well, actually, yeah, my right. eyes are much better. <laughs> he seemed alright to me. Maybe in real life, but the dream version of him was a real creep. Oh. Oh. Um, let's just try and progress this a little bit. Speaking of the caretaker, he still has our key, doesn't he? He said he'd stop by with the duplicate, but he must have forgotten. That That's in the, the game. game. Oh, <laughs> I did that door. before when I did that noise. <laughs> I better give him a call then. Sounds like a plan. I'll go wash up while you give him a call. You need any help with that? Stop pampering me, dear. I'll be fine. Okay. Damn. Why are you keeping those cups? Some adventure game pockets. Um, it's quite interesting because now, like, seeing the beginning of this again, I thought a lot of the conversation, like, you could be nice or you could be a dick. You could be someone who cares about the relationship or is just a dick and doesn't care. Mm. Um, and I wonder, was it... I thought that was just kind of random, really. I didn't think it really affected anything, because it didn't seem to. And then yeah. again, I was trying to be nice, because that's how it would be in real life. Very um, good. <laughs> um, but I also clicked every option I could. Oh, okay. So, um, not I, I wouldn't be like do the dicky ones, but like then, when you progressed it, I went through the whole conversation to like mm. find out the whole thing. It does take a while, though. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of wonder, like, oh, maybe this did all tie in to the end because I didn't think it was tying in. Maybe who knows? We'll have to see. All right, telephone. Hanging Go. on the telephone. So we probably need a number, which was. Uh, you, I yeah. You don't have to keep remembering these. Once you uh, know the number, it'll come up as an option. Oh. Thank goodness, because I was like, oh god, I'm not going to remember this. Call Prosser and Ankovic. That's it, not even the caretaker, so we... Yeah, why are we calling them? I guess I'm going to complain about these bloody lights. Prosser and Ankovic, how may I help you? Yeah, hi. My name's Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved into an apartment arranged by your company. Why, hello, Mr. Neff. What can I do for you? Uh... Oh, there you go. Oh, I want to ask about the lights. I think you have to do the lights. What? What is this? I don't know. Trying to reach the caretaker of this building. Wouldn't happen to have his number, would you? What's the address of the building? Oh no, that's a good question, lady. Oh, it's on where your... do we live? I don't know where I live. Oh. We just moved here yesterday. I can't recall the exact address. Oh, don't worry. It'll come to you. You probably have it written down somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen it someplace. Just call me back when you find it. Thanks. Bye. How could you not Bye. remember your own address to a house you just bought? That's weird. Yeah, no, it's not like it's a quick Bloody process. Envelope. Mr. and Mrs. Neff, 12 Dupont Crest, Bramford, Southern Korea. <laughs> what does... I don't know what all the... Um, that's an American thingy, right? I don't know. I don't know what all of those mean. I don't I know. I can't remember. What, where's SK? Southern Korea. Prosser and Ankovic, how may I help you? It's me again. I have another question. I have the same question. I want to... that one. And I got my... I've remembered my address now. It is 12 Dupont Crest. That's the old building behind Esper Square, right? I guess so. I think so. We're new <laughs> in town, so I don't know where everything is just yet. Let's see here. I'm not finding any caretaker at that address. You wouldn't happen to know his name, would you? Something... Oh, it's Horton. I knew it. It's going to be Horton. It's not Horton. Horton, eh? <laughs> Spoiler, it's not Horton. Sure sounded like it, but I wasn't really concentrating. Nope. Must have been something else. There are no Hortons at that address. Wouldn't you like be like, oh, Horton, there's a Morton. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's Morton. Exactly. Not just like, no, there's no Horton. Lady, you're useless. 
I didn't know it's a lady. Something else. Didn't it say else? I don't know. What the, did they say a name? Pretty sure they did. We have to go check the footage now. If they didn't say <laughs> a woman's name, I don't know. That that's what I was imagining in my brain. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You immediately assumed that it would be a woman because it's on the phone. What? <laughs> I'm on the phone too. No problems. Call me back if you do happen to remember it. Bye. Okay. Uh, where are we gonna find that out? Uh, can't remember. Use the entry phone. Wait. Have you, have you done that yet? Was it on here? No, that's Travis. Travis. We did use this, but nothing happened. Right. Hello? Hello? Whoa, it's a creepy door. Have you called the caretaker? I'm just gonna check if the furniture has arrived. Call the caretaker first. I don't want to be alone when he comes with the spare key. Sure thing. The movers can wait. Oh, you're supposed to be doing that, darling. Yeah, I just realised like we actually never discussed Thanks, that. Darling. I just I just did it before and then I forgot right now. <laughs> you don't have to do it if you don't. Inconsistent. Want to it uh okay. Thought I was being clever and then I forgot. Did this no, that's the other letter. Go wait. Hi Seymour, what are you doing? Um she said oh, you're it gonna was lie back like a baby. Okay. Give me a clue, Alicia. She that is a clue. But it's not a very good clue. I can't remember how... I know which one it is, but I can't remember how you find that. Tell me about this caretaker. God, she does have a really scary face. <laughs> it's the way she turns around, too. So. Yeah. I think as well, like, because I, I checked every single room before I spoke to her, so it was I only saw her back. So when I finally spoke to her, you know, like, it's quite creepy, her standing still with her back to you. Mm. And then she finally turns. And you're it's like, ah! terrifying. Um, okay, I don't know. I guess we could look at this floorboard. Hi. Oh, hey, Bourne. How are you doing? We are playing some point and click tonight. It's kind of, it's not really horror. It's like kind of spookyish, creepyish vibe. Uh, you yeah. just, you, did you not say that you highlighted a plank when you were moving around? I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. <laughs> well, that's good. That's oh, what you sorry, needed in point and click. <laughs> That's what always happens when I play point and clicks. Fine, thanks, and you two. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, um, just with you not finding that floorboard, I just want to point out again that when I played this, it was on a laptop, not full screen, because it's crashing. Floorboard wasn't one of the ones I had trouble finding. Oh. <laughs> okay. The board is nailed to the floor. I can't get it up with my bare hands. We're going to have to get a hammer or something. Baby oil? No. Baby oil? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do it. Oh, that's right, you got to... What? Oh, oh, okay. I, <laughs> I thought he was going to use it. Like, what? <laughs> it's not how you open stuff, man. I can't remember what you use. Noticed that you've got a new avatar picture. Oh, yeah, I do. My little floppy disk dude. Do you know, I mentioned this yesterday in my stream. Oh. Um, I think I was telling Bonkwin about it, actually. I can't remember. Oh, I was talking in general with um, another person in my stream. Um, Surrealist Society, who was had a different name, which I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I was talking about how I want to redesign my Twitch and I'm doing my website and blah blah blah. Mm. And I still haven't got around to redesigning my Twitch because I'm trying to design my website. Meanwhile, you've literally redesigned about I think five, maybe even more times. Yeah, I have an <laughs> issue with that. I get like I do stuff and then I after like a little while I just don't like it anymore and then I decide I want to change it. Even though all of them it's look really professional and good. It's a bad habit. I need to like not do that because <laughs> then I just put like waste all this time. I think I do prefer everything. the floppy disk to um. I uh, yeah. I, prefer I think it. the fox is cool and everything, but the floppy disk is more relevant to your name. It is for branding. It is. Looks a little bit sad. I guess I kind of just made it look a bit neutral. But I guess Flop it looks face. a little bit sad. Flop faces. That's kind of a cool name for it actually. I didn't have a name for it or anything. Um. Okay. So we need to try and open that somehow, maybe, or we need to find the name. Wasn't anything on there. Maybe we can... No, we couldn't call anyone else, could we? We couldn't, no. I thought it might have been the entry. Yeah, we can't go out there. What, what else could we do? I clipped everything, and, and I can't remember specifically. Oven. Give me your secrets, oven. Um, I don't feel like I've overlooked anything. 
but I could be wrong. I wonder where you would find a caretaker's name. We don't just have to guess it, do we? Dunno. Maybe maybe I did. Let's try that. As he said though, if I was a customer service person on a phone and someone said I'm looking for Horton who's the caretaker at this address and like had all that information, I'd be like Oh no, we don't have Horton, but I think it there is a Norton, mm. and he's the caretaker. Like, I wouldn't just say there's a Norton who's completely irrelevant, but yeah. fits all the, everything else you said. Norton. Might have been. I was really tired last night, though. No, I'm drawing a blank of Norton. Could have been something else. Yeah, it was Morton. Morton. Morton, you say? Pretty sure that's what he said. I have a Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, not the caretaker. I totally didn't pay attention if they said if it was a female name. Oh, I don't either. Damn it. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must be the same guy. Then his number is 555-647533. Right, got it. Was there anything else you needed? Uh, that's fine. That's all I need. Alright, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Not ex ex not as exciting as layers of as layer of fear. This game or It's definitely not, not exciting spooky. right now. It's not as spooky. I've played this before and well, okay, it's not gonna be as exciting because I am lazy and don't wanna play difficult games. <laughs> but I found it really interesting. It's maybe a little bit slow right now, trying to set things up, but it's pretty I, I think it's a bit creepy. It's got a bit of a creepy vibe. Let's give old Mr. Morton a, a call. Morton here. Hello, this is Victor Neff from the second floor. The couple you let in yesterday. Yes, hello Mr. Neff. Are you settling in alright? No, I have no bloody lights in this place. I need you to fix it. Everything is fine, thanks. But I was just wondering when you'd be around to deliver the spare key you mentioned last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd forgotten all about that. Heh. I figured you might have. I'll be right up. Thanks. Is he gonna like I immediately think, um, appear there? No, I think it's when you try to exit the door, maybe? Have you called the caretaker? Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. He said he'd be right up. I'm just gonna check if the oh, furniture okay. has nope. arrived. Can't you stay until he gets here? Oh. Um. Are you gonna what be are we a, supposed to a do? nice husband or a dick husband? I wanna be nice, but does that mean we just can't progress? <laughs> Progression is important. Hello? 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 Mm. It's me. Oh, it's him. Yeah, That's I was right. going to say, I don't think it's that long. Jesus Christ, you're even more terrifying than my wife. Hello again, Mr. Neff. I like the style of this, though. It's weird. Here's the spare key. Thanks, mate. You look like a pirate. You dress like a pirate, kind of. Is the apartment well, in order? He's wearing a freaking, like, I don't know, it's just coat, the little uh, beard and the belt and the... Doesn't look those, anything like, like a pirate. White sleevey things. He's wearing a shirt with a jumper over it, a jersey. I don't know. <laughs> it's the apartment in order. No. Why don't you mention Apparently the lights? Apparently the lights are his own responsibility. That's weird. Calm down. It's weird. Everything seems fine. Just tell me if you need help with anything. Was that all? Um What should I call you? Are, the, are you the caretaker or the landlord? Make up your mind. Prosa and Ankovic didn't have you listed as the caretaker. I can see how that would be confusing. My family's owned the house for generations. For generations. For generations. I rent out the apartments I don't need and try to take care of the estate as best that I can. Making me both the caretaker and your landlord. I see. Uh, that's all. That's all, bud. Head downstairs. Don't be shy if you need me. Thanks. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Time to see what the furniture movers are up to. Let's go. Have you called the caretaker? Blah, 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 blah. She doesn't care now. 
given up. All right, what do we got? Jesus, why is Holy that crap. music like really music suddenly up. loud? Just settle down, music, please. About there is probably all right. Um, closet. Door is locked. Box. I think this box contains fire equipment. <laughs> yes, some piano. Yeah, that's about right. Let's blast us off piano. Open the door first, and then ring the bell. That's that's of how your you... own apartment. Oh. <laughs> that's how you. Um... Oh no. What are you doing, man? We haven't finished out there. Yeah, you did that. I did. I was trying to close the door, but he can't. Cl he can open doors, but he can't close them. No. That's silly. Just a moment, dear. I'll be right with you. That could have been a man. It's a woman now. I know it's a woman. Yeah, but... see. <laughs> yes. Hello, ma'am. My name is Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved to next door to you. I just thought I'd stop by and introduce myself. Why, hello there, young fella. I'm Edie Jones. I'm the resident senior in this house. Um... I can't remember what I said. You live here by yourself? Yes, I do. It's just me and my memories now. I used to have a husband, but he went the way of mortal men. <laughs> what does that mean? It means he died. What did you do to him? I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I didn't care for him much anyway. <laughs> See, she murdered him. There was only ro room for one woman in his life. And she wasn't me, if you know what I mean. Oh. Did you say... <sighs> okay, I can't do that voice anymore. Did, did you, you say, say name? your name's Victor <laughs> Neff? <laughs> I can't do voices. Like the actor? Just like the actor, but he lived before my time, though. But you two must be related, surely. No relation, I'm afraid. I've never seen any of his movies either, to be honest. Ah, you're missing out. He had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a boxer, you see. Then I assure you, our similarities end with our names. You seem like such a polite young man, unlike the caretaker here. Mr. Morton? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, what do you know about him? Tell me, spill the goss, come on. About as much as I care to. I've looked, lived here long enough to see him grow up. I knew his father quite well. He was the caretaker prior to little Felix, a wonderful man. Unfortunately, the apple fell far from the tree, in this case. Uh... Doesn't seem to be taking very good care of the house. What? But you said everything was fine. You get your story straight, man. No, he's useless with anything that's not electrical. <laughs> the lights but are the, the lights one don't thing work. that aren't on. <laughs> what? Okay, wait, can we just clarify? When you're in an apartment in America where we think this is set, do you if you move into an apartment, are the lights not on until you arrange them to be on? I don't know. Because that's because that's apparently the case here because he said that like he hadn't arranged the yeah, lights. Yeah, unless he's just slack. That seems weird. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just want to clarify, like maybe that's a thing in America. Dunno. Most of us have learnt to fix our own apartments by now. Have you tried complaining to him? Every chance I get son. <laughs> Every chance I get son Um, okay. Sorry I've disturbed you, Mrs. Jones. I'll see you later. Just call me Edie. Little Edie. Everybody does. Bye then, Edie. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, dearie. You do a better old lady voice than me. I, I can't can do only voices. Keep it up for a very short I can't act. Time, I can't do voices. It's not my thing. All right, stairwell. Stairs. Stairwell <laughs> seems to have been sealed off. Judging by the warning tape, I'd say it's probably hazardous. Man, this place is a bloody dump. Why do we even move here? Alright. Let's go. Jesus! Good lord. Edie, what's going on? Ah, I thought that might happen. I seem to be having some problem with the elevator. Door jams every once in a while. Just gotta squirt some baby baby oil on there and you're good to go. Be well advised oh. to do some sort of grease product. I think here. we actually have to do that. I'll lend you some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. 
She probably used it I've all, been riding all the elevator. elevator. A lot, yeah. That's all right. I'll probably be able to find something like this baby oil that I have in my pocket. It's kind of dodgy to always carry around baby oil. Weirdo. Well, you never know when it can come in handy, apparently. Splodge it on there. There we go. Perfect. All right. What are we on? Floor two. Let's go to floor three. Let's investigate this terrible apartment building. This looks exactly the same. Oh, these headphones are hurting my ears. Oh no. I have very sensitive ears. You could swap if you want. These that that might help, yeah. <laughs> One moment, please. Technical difficulties. Oh, oh. Don't strangle Seymour. Watch out, Seymour. Oh, these are much better. Yeah, those ones, that's why I wear those. They're looser and a bit bigger around my ears. They don't get, like, I can wear them for, like, ages and they don't get uncomfortable. These ones sound really strange, though. Yeah, Just... these definitely do. This sounds really weird. <laughs> a real team. <laughs> Thank you. Real team, yes. Okay, uh... It sounds, like, super loud now. What's going on? Yeah, okay, so now I'm like, no wonder I was reacting so strongly <laughs> to all that loud music. Okay. That wouldn't be very polite. Ah, oh, come on, man. Where's your sense of adventure? Just walking into people's houses. Who's it gonna be? Don't. Wait. You answer did the that. Bloody door. <laughs> no, I was saying they should answer the door. There might be it's no impolite. one in there. They could be asleep. Maybe no one lives on the third floor. Hello. Nope. Got another box. Locked closet. A bucket and a mop that we cannot use. And a broken stairwell. Okay. Down to floor number one. Damn, it's a loud elevator. Oh, we can hear some music. Someone's having a party. Locked. Judging by the. Yeah, okay, we've already read that. We don't need to worry about that. What's in here? Holy crap. What's going on, man? What have you done? So, oh, we can steal people's mail. Where are we? Are we even on here? Nope. Um, would that be our one? Because what's his name? Travis? What's the guy's name? Yeah, Could Travis. be. It says T Brittle, but I think this is ours now. Open it. Do we, maybe we don't have a key. Oh, do, you, do you have a key in your inventory? Your house key? Yeah. We might do work? both. I don't know. Whoa! Multi purpose key. No, oh, no one loves us. Yeah, that's not like us, because we get, Can we... you know, previous tenants' mail all the damn time. I want to open these ones. Okay. Mover, what have you done to my sofa? Are you Victor, are you Victor Neuf? Yeah, that's me. We've got your sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. I don't know about Signed, that, mate. Sealed, delivered. So if you just sign the receipt here, I'll leave it in your hands. <laughs> awesome. You can't leave this over here. You've got to deliver it to our apartment. That's your job, buddy. Come on. Stop slacking off. It says nothing about an apartment delivery in the contract, sir. We deliver door to door, like it says right here. And technically speaking, the sofa has been delivered to How door. are you going to get out? <laughs> He's going to stay here forever. He's going to be trapped in the... So is everyone else who loves it. Sounds fair, I guess. What happens if we do that? I'm glad you see reason, sir. If you just sign here, sir. And just as an extra service, I'd like to give you this complimentary crowbar. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm sure a big like big guy like you will be able to pry that sofa free in no time. Wow. Well, you're probably going to have to do it yourself because you're not going anywhere while it's there. Nope. He's not going to do it. Thanks. I'm sure it'll prove helpful somehow. Signed and delivered. He likes to say that. Personally, I consider this a job well done. Well, personally, you have some bad standards. I of... wasn't as nice to that guy. <laughs> as you should. What? I suppose I did go for that option. Okay, move it. Well, guess we're not going no outside. Wait, could you look at the box separately? 
I just wanted to check, sorry. Nope. Oh, it's a cold hanger. See what you've done, mate? You can't even leave now. Are you happy with yourself? You're just gonna sit there? Seeing as I can't get out, I thought I might as well take a little lunch break. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy your sofa, sir. Such a douchebag. Got some strange, strange ways of working there, bud. All right, what's this? Door is locked. Over here, Mr. Niff. Just come over to the hatch if you want to talk to me. Who's this mysterious person? Ah, Mr. Oh, Morton. It's the pirate. Doesn't look anything like a pirate. He's a pirate now. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Did you require anything else? Um, my sofa is stuck in the entrance. Could you help me get it free? Oh. I'm afraid my... Sciatica? Sciatica. That's it. I've never had to spell that word in my life, so... Sciatica problems prohibit me from straining physical labor. Can't the moving firm help you out? No, they're useless, man. That's the problem in the first place. They just dumped it there. I see. I wish I could help you more. Well, you probably should because seeing this is your yeah. apartment complex and no one can get in or out. It's a bloody fire hazard. Proper badass, cigarette stamp, mysterious book, yep. All the qualities of a good pirate right there. <laughs> um, do we need any of this? Probably don't need any of this right now. I'm here if you need me. I want this. Must be the key to Mr. Morden's office. We need to steal it. Somehow. Okay. We'll come back for that, though. <sighs> we need to check out the basement. Do we need to save this? I think you can't. Yeah, you can save it. Does it auto save? It does auto save. Ah, very good. Why does is it the first slot empty? Where's my save game? Uh, it won't show up because it'll be on your laptop. I don't uh, think it's got cloud saving. That makes sense. I assume, anyway. Yeah, I don't think it does. Alright. Oh, the basement needs a key. Let's try this. Somehow I think you probably oh. need, need Mr. Morton's key. Well, I don't know how to pick locks, and I don't think I a don't coat hanger is I don't remember what the coat hanger is for. That's interesting. It's for our coat. We Not don't wearing own. a coat, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Time to investigate this floorboard a bit more, I think. Why is it so loud? The levels yeah. are really random, eh? Yeah. That that definitely wasn't like that when I played on my laptop. Very loud. Okay, so that one is ours. Yeah. You don't need to ring the doorbell. Alicia. Just piss off your pregnant wife. Alicia, I'm home. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, where is it? Okay, Kreba, do your thing. Kreba snapped what? <laughs> this is the most useless bloody Kreba <sighs> ever. Uh, Jesus know, Christ. Silly. Dude, bloody ripped me off. It's he not gave even it to metal. you for free. He gave it to us as bloody bribe for getting our sofa stuck. He gave it to That's you after you agreed to leave the sofa there. I suppose. Good thing I managed to get the board up before it broke. It was very good. What have we got in this hole? Crowbars known what to easily break. What the bejeebus is this? It's a bomb. Yep. Okay, what does it say? This device measures the current running through it. Looks like some kind of fuse. Device seems to be where the current ends up. I have no idea what it does. Okay. I think the current enters through here. Okay, so, so we're supposed to get it to these, I guess? Yep. All right, let's do it. Um, I guess we have to get both, so... Is that one? This one? No, the other one. The other one. Is that two? No? Is that not good enough? No, I think it needs to get to the top. Oh, does it need to go through the transistors? Is that what it needs to do? I think I keep clicking things till it works. I think it <laughs> might need to go through the transistors, possibly. I, yeah. I think I spent a lot of, like, transistor, I literally got sorry, you to help me. 
Ah, oh, that's okay. So that makes it so it doesn't. We don't. We don't want to go through the um, uh, resistors. Yeah, I think maybe you had to tell me that last time because I was like, "The fuck <laughs> is this?" Okay, should we go this? Damn, this is confusing. Um, that one comes up here. Right? No. Let's try working backwards. Probably makes more sense. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it blew up. It seems to have overloaded the fuse. It's probably designed to blow before anything else could happen. Maybe I can bypass it somehow. Ugh. Oh, okay. I know what to do. Get out of there. Oh, okay. Conan, oh. go. Conan's oh. made of plastic. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what I did. Key? Yeah, key. Seems to have been too much power for the machine to handle. It's completely burned out. I wonder what it operated. Wait, can we you get key out? That's made... literally your house gear. Holy shit. I knew uh. that picture was suspicious. What was that? I thought I heard some kind of noise. I don't know, really. I followed some instructions on this note that led me to a circuit under the floorboard. After I tampered with the circuit, the painting flew up. What's that behind a painting? Then? It's clearly a the fucking bodies, camera, Alicia. Someone's been perving on us in bed. I'm not sure. Dude, it's, it's... <sighs> really? What's wrong with you? I do like this game, I swear. Some creepy camera. So what is it? Well, oh, I don't know. What do you think, Alicia? Jesus. Camera? You mean somebody was peeping on us while we slept? Certainly seems that way. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. Um, maybe the person who's the landlord and caretaker, because who the fuck else would have access? Mr. Morden, you bastard. I was just about to say that. He does seem like the likely culprit. After all, he had free access to the apartment. According to our neighbour, he's savvy with electronics. According to the neighbour, he seems pretty useless if you ask me. And if it was Mr. Morton, that means he found the note left by the previous tenant and tried to destroy it. That makes sense. I told you I got a creepy vibe from the guy has to be Morton. He's trying to fulfill some kind of perverted fantasy, peeping on us. Penguin? Uh, Penguin? Bonquin doesn't think it's the, the pirate. Not the pirate. It doesn't Penguin. seem like a piratey thing to do, to be honest. Pirates don't usually use He's wearing an old man sweater. Mm, he's a pirate. There's always a pot, plot twist to prevent the obvious choice to be the real choice. Is it true? Maybe his pirate disguise is the plot twist. Maybe he's not a pirate. I'm calling it right now. He's not a pirate. <laughs> I feel so violated, Victor. I think we should call the police immediately. What do you think? I'm gonna beat the snot out of him. Make sure he doesn't get away before the police arrive. Um, maybe that one. Let's do that one. By now he's probably noticed that we've discovered what he's up to. I'll just go down and keep an eye on him until the police gets here. That sounds like a good idea. We have to make sure he doesn't get away with this. I'll call the police in the meantime. Good work. Go do that. Creepers, creepers, where'd you get those okay. creepers? Can we do anything else with this? Can we wave? Where did you get those eyes? I feel like smashing it, but the police won't like it if I destroy evidence. Well, we don't have a crowbar anymore, so... I swear, this that. game is actually really good. It's just this beginning bit is a bit slow. It's creepier and cooler after this. I did see some stuff that you were playing, so I can agree with that. At least shit. Oh, calling. Okay. Why don't I put the phone there? That's a stupid place for a phone. Because that's where the, the, the input is. You can put it up here, though. Yeah, I suppose. The table boxes are a specialty. Oh, let's talk to old uh, what's-her-face. 
Ugh, police are coming. You got to keep an eye on Morton. But they might be spying on her too. Just a moment, dear. Huh? I'll be right with you. I got some gossip. Why, hello again, Mr. Neff. We call her Edie. She should call us Victor. A camera, you say? It was hidden behind a panel in the bedroom. I don't mean to throw accusations around, but... You think Mr. Martin's behind it, don't you? He does seem like the most likely culprit, given the circumstances. Agreed. I always knew there was something wrong with him. But this is far more sinister than I could ever imagine. My wife is calling the police right now. They'll be- they'll hopefully be here soon. I just wanted to give you advanced warning. In case he's installed apart- blah, 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 blah. Installed and apartments stored, in your camera yes, too. Yes, he might have installed apartments in your camera. Go check it. I appreciate that, Victor. I'll start looking as soon as my guests leave. Guests. Who's in there? She's allowed to have guests? I thought she said she was alone. She said she lives alone. Mm. I don't know, she's suspicious now too. The guests could have come since you were last here. No, because it's bloody interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a couch <laughs> no in the way. See you later then, Eddie. Eddie. Goodbye, dear. It ain't Morty, I'm telling you. Yeah, it might, be, it might be Edie. I'm suspicious of her now too. I'm suspicious of everyone. Alright, let's go. Do we just not have our key anymore? No, you used it. That's what I mean, like, Ugh, how I don't think gonna... you, you don't need it for anything now. We'll never be able already... to lock our apartment ever again. Yeah. That's not Damn. necessary. Okay, is he in here? <gasps> He's gone. He's locked up. Even got a reflection and everything. That's pretty it's, cool. That's pretty good. It's locked from within and won't budge. Oh, coat hanger. Yeah, we got a key get anything else ah oh, the coating is gone what the hell you used it but it's done we might need it again you don't you never know i do know but victor i doesn't. literally know victor doesn't know okay so oh we can check his mail i like how that's Still the first here. thing you think rather than the door <laughs> it's or important. the basement this is a weird looking key it's like a stone uh morton Oh, he's got no He's also got Morton Estates, though. He does. Oh. oh, no. Damn it. We could have got some gossip on him. Alright. I am... Oh, maybe we can sit on this one. That's, that's what I meant by how... That's the first thing you went to is the mailbox and not that. Oh, I thought, like, the basement. <laughs> yeah, it might do both. You can hear him moving in there. Have to get in and make sure he doesn't tamper the evidence linking him to the camera. Oh, it ends. No. Have we still got the key? Huh. We lost the key. I wanted to inspect the... Uh, I think it didn't do the elevator then. Damn. I didn't realise that was the whole first trip. Mr. Wait, Martin. It hasn't ended. Or maybe... Oh, that it must goes... automatically go into... Yeah. Sorry. Yep, 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 yep. I know you're in here. We found your camera. You pervy bastard. My wife's upstairs calling the police. They'll be here any minute. Holy crap. Ah, oh, there's another ghost. Chapter 2. The little man who wasn't there. Alright. It's a fancy whoosh effect. It's the most fancy effect so far. Um, what do we got? Piece of paper? Yoink. It's, like, it's a bit Link. embarrassing. I've been raving Stand. about this game, and now I'm like, oh, everyone's going to think it's stupid. Call. That's the number we're already on. The police. Let's call the police. I think that wall is not just a wall. Mm, you might be onto something there, Bonkwin. It's a very suspicious looking wall, I have to say. We're sorry, all our operators are busy at the moment, but we're working on answering your call as soon as we the can. The police. The emergency services. <laughs> Useless. You're currently number 14 in line. We've got time for this, please. Yeah. Bloody hell. Alright, toolboard. Some of Mr. Morton's tools are hanging over the desk. Toolbox. 
a box containing various tools. That's usually what a toolbox is. Mm -hmm. Good description. Uh, shelf containing books on maintenance and repair. Finders of business related paperwork. Oh, there's a book. Nothing there. Books, binders, say receipts and invoices. Binders date back to the 1920s. Damn, son. Some old stuff you got. He's got working electricity. What is this? Mm. Yeah, this is weird. I don't really understand. No one answered about the electricity. Maybe no, no one, one knows. Cares. <laughs> I can't remember where um, everyone's from. Were any of them from America? Um, I know I Bourne's remember. not from America. Okay. You have in Germany, I think, or around that area. I'm not sure about Bonquin. Uh, well, probably one of do the best have, things do mankind. You, do you mentioned. folks have electricity in your the places of residence? Got them electrics. <laughs> turn it. Wait, let's turn it backwards. Keep turning it. We've got to rewind the record. It's important. Oh, 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 mm, I see. Yeah. I was just messing around. Look under the under sofa. Under the sofa. I don't remember that. Oh. He's <laughs> not hiding under the sofa. Netherlands, in fact. Oh, you've got electricity. <gasps> Germany and the Netherlands. You must, I'd like to go. Must be like pretty advanced over there if you've got electricity. More advanced than this place. Did you set it up yourself in your <laughs> place or was that already there? That's strange. They had a working oven. Uh, it's I just the so. lights. Why, so. why are the lights not on? I don't know, maybe I there's just it. no light bulbs. But that seems strange too. Yeah. I can hear his voice, but there's no one here. What is he saying? Is he just mumbling to himself? That's weird. He must be hiding Where somewhere. Where are the developers of this from? Maybe they don't have lights in their country. Was here when I arrived, I was suspicious. <laughs> Did you check for cameras behind, like, your photos and stuff? I would be if I was you. You can see how these would come in handy. There's a chili draft running along the floor. Ooh, well that's very suspicious. Suspicious. Mostly science fiction. Look under the bed. He's not hiding under the bed. These don't seem to get much use. Man, this guy's useless. Worst bloody landlord ever. Mr. Morton seems to be a consummate Galusius Brunes smoker. I feel like that's probably not how it's pronounced. Gauloises. It's <laughs> now. The ashtray's full to the brim. Succulent plants are easy to maintain. Succulent. They're tasty. Explains why this one is still alive. Dying plant. This might have been a fig tree once, but it's hard to tell without the leaves. It's a very small fig tree. I thought fig trees were bigger than that. Well, it's dying. I guess. Not familiar with this brand, but it looks like a lager. Got some water. Very good. Cool bananas. Chair. It's a kid's chair. Does Mr. Morden have a child? I don't know. Does he? Did he just say that, or did you just say that? He, uh, he said it. Oh, God, sorry, I looked down. Radio. It's a small transistor radio. Small book. The Dictionary of Imaginary Places. Very strange kind of dictionary. Some books concerning symbolism and dreams. Interpretation of dreams. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Pick up. Oh, we got some dream journals. We got a button. Seems to be some kind of button. Push it. With this one. Dream journal 1972. Moon. Dream journal 1975. Wave. Dream Journal 1971, Sun. So, let's just take those. Now we've got lots of buttons. I'm assuming we have to find some more books for these. Well, you did find one before. Did I? Oh yeah, I did too. 1973, Star. So we probably need like one And it more. looks, I can see one. Yeah? Yep. Ha ha. We've got some books. It's probably just generic books. Some of these books look like they're over a hundred years old. Oh, a plunger. Seems to have been used on a daily basis since the 1970s. That's gross. I thought I heard a door. Door. In our house. 
What? No, get screw it one. I hope not. It's kind of creepy. Um, might have been downstairs. That'd be pretty fucking loud if I could hear downstairs through these headphones. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, these. Okay. So, 1973, 1972, 1975, 1974 hearts. I can't remember what the answer is, but my first instinct is oh, we can read do these. it in order, in date order. Damn. I think you dragged them. Dream journal. How much text is in these? Is this one? There's a oh, lot of no. There's a lot of text in all of the books that I remember. Holy crap! Do we need to read these? Uh, you obviously keep a record of dreams. Okay, we're not going to read these right now. We'll come back to those. These dreams seem oddly repetitive. I wouldn't know. I didn't read about them. Okay, 1971. Go there. 1972, 1973, oops, 1974, and 1975. Nothing happened. Well, maybe I'd open that door. I feel like it's more obvious when you get something right. That's the door you came in. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's like a secret door. Oh wait, can you see what's, what's on the wall? Yeah, I was just looking at that. Seems to be something written on the wall. This looks like some kind of code. We've got... Clockwise. God, I can't remember what this was. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. And then some weird things. Okay. Times. I have no idea what that means. As I, I said, I used um, lots of hints and had to Google answers. So. Nope. Keep turning it. Alright, so we need to find some numbers, I guess, somewhere. Wait, what was that paper we got? No, it's blank. Um... Where, oh where, could some numbers be? Maybe in those books? It looks like it was in, like, the corner or something. Hmm. Can you look at the covers of the books? Dream journal, that one. Um. Oh no, it opened up like this. I remember that. Okay, 1971. I don't want to read all this. No, I'm reading. sure you don't have to read all of it. Read blah, blah, blah. Fridge is full of human hearts. What? That's weird. Um, oh, I just looked down and Seymour was just lying on his back looking up at me. <laughs> Blank pages. Okay. Any other text of value to the puzzles will stick out. Yeah, it's probably yeah. true. I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure as much as I clicked on everything and tried to read everything, I'm not sure I read all of those books. Stamp the paper. <gasps> it says July nineteenth. Ah, 19th. there you go. Oh, okay. But that's a clue. Maybe that's a clue. Dream journal. April second. Was it July something? July nineteenth. Oh, turn that way. What the hell is going on with this? Uh. 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 Pages. What are you doing? I had less trouble on my trackpad. Hey, 
I don't know what's no, going I'm on. saying that's weird. Like maybe something strange is going on. July nineteenth. Yeah. What a strange dream. The stars turned on me. My heart sang a beautiful song. I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. Then a moon-shaped package arrived. I have to say, it feels better having written this down. Okay. Oh, wait. I think I know yeah. what that means. I just so, remembered. I won't say it. <laughs> stars, heart, sun, waves, moon. Star, heart, sun, waves, moon. We have to go. I thought I just heard it again. I think that one may have been downstairs. Though. Heart, sun, with moon. Wah, something's happening. Oh my god. It's a door. Oh, an elevator. But to where? Maybe it goes to the basement. Whoa. <coughs> What is this place? <coughs> What's going on in here? We've got another elevator. That must be the main elevator. Yeah, I think Some we're in the basement. Key. Okay. Regardless of whether he's a the peep, he sure has some stuff going on in here. He definitely does. He's obviously got time to do all this. Obviously, but not time to like actually fix the um, apartment building. He even has a four-fingered hand scanner. I actually was about oh, yeah. to mention that. He's like an alien. I think we are too. Yeah. We're aliens. Oh, police are probably on their way right now. I just skipped a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Oh, where's that voice coming from? I think you're saying it to him. But this is green. Oh. Ah, uh, maybe we are saying it to him. It's weird that it's green though. Why is it green? Um, I don't know. Oh wait, no. No, that's unacceptable. Oh, he's on the phone. We can't have another Travis incident. It was hard enough to cover up as it was. <gasps> yeah, These... you couldn't even burn a whole piece of paper. These are people with friends and family. Somebody's bound to miss them eventually. The previous um, tenant is Travis. Yes. That's all we know. That's literally all the information we got. He gave us the letter that led us to the uh, camera. Yes, that is correct. The floorboard thing. He left us a clue. Alright, what do we got? Some kind of... This is probably where he watches all his perverted things. Okay, so now we're starting to get into more of the aesthetically cool stuff. Like, as I said, I promise this does, like... I really enjoyed this game when I... Well, actually, I also found it really frustrating because I <laughs> sucked at it. But, um... <laughs> but, gotta yeah. cut his hand off. It's really interesting. And just remember that this is all freaking um, stop motion. Like, it is. You know. It's pretty impressive. No, I refuse to do that. I should have unplugged you years ago. This ends now. Wait. What are you doing? No, stop. Oh my god. You're sleeping. You're sleeping. Wake up. Mr. Morton appears to be sleeping. I'm unable to wake him up. What happened to him? He suddenly got tired. Very strange. Alright, what do we got? Blueprint? Damn, that's intense. Looks like it's got a spine. It's kind of worrying. Some uh, telescopes. VR headset. It's all human, you know, REM state, synapses, neural, melatonin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it seems to connect to humans. To their brains. To their brains. Okay. Oh, we got. Oh, wait. These are the VR headsets. Okay. We don't need those right now. Control panel? Got a little display. Seems to be a power indicator of some kind. Six of the lights are lit up, but I don't know what that signifies. There's six. Yes. It's like seven for some reason. Um, cool. Good to know. 
Oh, what was that? No. Never mind. So I saw something else. Genius pirates, yes. They had examined machine separate, yeah. He's he's uh just pretending to sleep. Playing dead. How did he magically make Zeds come from his head? That's I don't know, he's a pirate. He oh. Can do magic stuff. Yeah, that's what pirates are known for. Yeah. Genius ones are, at least. Some kind of machine. It looks intimidating. It does. Have you ever watched Cutthroat Island? No. I think I may have asked this before. We should watch it. Because I liked it as a kid because the lead pirate in it is a woman who's called Morgan. Mm. Yeah. And she has curly dark hair, which is what I had as a child. Ah. Maybe it is. It, was it actually just you in the it was movie? Gina Davis. Oh. So, yes, I wish. <laughs> um, okay. Couldn't do anything with that. We can't use that yet. Can we use his hand? We'll have to cut it off. Oh, does he have a key on him? That's what I thought, but I can't really, like, inspect him. No. It says he's sleeping. Yeah. Wait, did you pick up the headset? I did. I did. We had a sender and we had a receiver, so... Guessing we want to. Oh, don't do that. Come back. Receiver on myself. Whoa! I can barely, barely see out this thing. Cool. We look awesome. Uh, sender. Take that, buddy. I'm gonna read your brain. Seems to have triggered something. It's blurry, but I think I'm seeing... What was that? I'm not sure I want to... Ow, that hurts. It's too late. Jesus. That was terrifying. Getting into it. I didn't realise it was the whole first chapter. That's a bit, um, mm. bit slow. I still Where am I? It, but... What is this place? Mr. Morton, are you in here? It gets creepier as you go as well. I guess he must be. Okay, let's find him. Bloodstain. What? Looks like a bloody handprint. Mm. Looks like we've got a trail too. Let's hunt him down. This My took God. me ages as well, so it'd be interesting if... I think I had to look up the answer to this this whole area. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> be interesting to see how we points. go. Statue, sir. How are you? It's a large stone statue of some kind. It bears a slight resemblance to Mr. Morton. It does? I would disagree with that. Oh, yeah. there's a hatch. What the hell? Open up. We've got... Marking. It's a chalk line drawing on the back wall. Vaguely resembles an eye. Okay. And we've got some plates. Cool. Cool. Do anything else with this? Nope. Okay. Wait, what is there anything further to the right? Or is it just the portals? I okay, think that's it. That I would have told you if, when you went to the end of the screen. Oh, yeah. You don't need to actually walk there. Okay, let's try check out some of these portals. Alright, Seymour. Oh, we got another head. Just a dream. With a hatch and some stairs. Oh my god. XXX, XXXX. Sorry, did you just say something? XXXX. I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. What is this place? XX, XXXX, XXX, XXX, XXX. I guess it must be broken somehow. It must be. Open the hatch. Oh, we broke it. Sorry about that, bud. Just pull part of your face off. We got strum rods. Ooh. Is it called a strum rod, or is that because you're strumming? Hmm? Is it actually called a strum rod, or is it a command to um, strum the rod? Ah, uh, I don't know. 
Whatever that thing is, it isn't tuned right. Okay, so this one's broken. Strum rock. They said pick up. Oh. Take it. Beautiful. Cool. Bust out some tunes. Oh, it's watching me. It's creepy. Oh man, what happens this guy? See? Creepy. He's got glasses. It's the remains of someone long since gone. From the looks of these tools, he used to be a blacksmith while he was still alive. Well, there are our tools now. This hammer looks, ma looks handmade and very, very old. Got some glasses. Sorry, don't think you're going to be <laughs> oh, using no, those Oh no, a dead guy. Oh, I want those glasses. <laughs> I want them. They look trendy. You can pick up the anvil. Remove less left lens, remove right lens. Oh, maybe we're going to like fix these or something. Maybe we're going to change them to our prescription. These glasses are useless now. I'll get no. I wanted them. You just need Dude. lenses. Oh man, they were so cool. Pick up. Whoa! How I can know we you're put carrying that in our pants? it around. Oh, I suppose that's a weird. That's not a. Oh, you are in a dream. Though. Strange thing for an adventure game, though. To put large things in your pants. You're also in a dream. So. That's true. Hmm. You can do whatever the fuck you like. Can we smash these? I don't want to crush the lens. Oh, maybe we can do this. No. Put it put it back down. <laughs> Why do we even pick it up if we're going to put it here? Bodybuilder. Yeah, Victor Shaw looks <laughs> like a bodybuilder. <laughs> he might be. You never know what he gets up to in his spare time. I'd be at the gym all the time. He doesn't look like a bodybuilder. He looks scrawny to me. Don't worry, bud. We're gonna fix your rods. I'll fix them right up for you. Pop it in there. There we go. Perfect. Can you talk to us now? Who goes there? Why have you disturbed me in my sleep? Oh, he does talk. My name is Victor Neff, sir. Who are you? I am a symbol. A tribute and a memory all at once yes it's impressive multitasking uh, is this place real are you real I think therefore I am I am am I what separates a real place from an unreal that it seems real to your senses that it feels real when you tread its grounds in that case this place is very real Okay. You're standing right in front of me. That is where you are. But what is this place? It's a shrine. To what? To me. Well then, why have you got a shrine? Tell me. Like, there's two dicky answers. I'm like, why can't I just say thanks? Right. Yeah. Not being very helpful. Neither are you. Actually, I fixed your vocal cords, or whatever those rods in your throat are. Yes. Yes, I guess you did. So? So what? You owe me some answers. What would you like to know? Um, I thought that said, said, have you seen a shitty looking older guy? Seen a shitty looking guy around here? Who are you really? My name is Ainsley Morton. Was? Oh, did you say was? I said is. I guess so. Was? Yes, I died quite a while ago, I'm afraid. What you see in front of you isn't actually me. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Then what is it? It's a monument. Okay. Have you seen a shitty looking guy walk past here? I'm asleep mostly. I don't see much of anything. Who are you looking for? A guy called Felix Morton. I have reason to believe he is in here somewhere. Felix? What has he done now, a useless prat? You know him? Of course I do. He's my grandson. I wish he wasn't, but a rock rotten egg is better than no egg at all. I don't know about that. I'd probably disagree. I'm yeah, I'd just, I'd just not have an egg. Have something else. Have some cereal instead. You don't like your own grandson? No, he lacks conviction. Will be the end of it all. It's his father's fault, really. Too soft on him, you see? Me? 
I tried to cane him any chance I got. You physically abused your grandson? That's probably why he's a prat. Builds character. I tried to beat some sense into the boy, but his father was too soft, I tell you. Too damn soft. Um, have you seen your grandson recently? I'm mostly asleep these days. If he walked past here, he had the common courtesy not to wake me up. Unlike some people. Also, he doesn't talk to me much anymore. Um, what do you know about him? He was a useless mongrel then, and he's probably just as useless now. Whatever your beef is with young Felix, I suggest you let it rest. Trying to get sensible answers out of that boy is like trying to milk a stone. He doesn't owe you money, does he? No, it's not about money. It's about him being creepy. Then you can count your lucky blessings, about one thing at least. Now, if you'll excuse me, my eternal sleep is well deserved and long overdue. No, wait. If Felix is in here, how can I find him? The correct order will lead you there. Order of what? That's all you get from me. Good luck, Mr. Neff. And Godspeed. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to walk through these in a specific order. Um, yeah, so I, I worked out this whole area except that order bit. I was like, the fuck? I actually don't even remember him saying that, but I I definitely had like logged out and logged back in, so I might have like completely forgotten he'd said in order. Mm. It makes a lot more sense when you know that he said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not very good at games. Spine door number three. Wait, this is one... Uh, uh, yeah, because you have opened the hatch. Oh, who's this? It looks like a baby. It's a baby with an ear. Ah! Creepy. You're a creepy baby. You're going to XXX me as well? No. Hello? Who are you? My name is Victor Niff, sir. Sorry, what's that? I said, my name is Victor Niff. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with his ear. Gotta pull it out. He's got rocks in his ears, that's not very healthy. Healthy. A bunch of rocks seem to be blocking the ear canal. Let's take those out. Clean it clean up for your mate. How's that? Hello? That feels better. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal. Sorry, what's that? Your ear canal was clogged. I can hardly hear you. But whatever you did before seems to have made it better. Keep at it. Oh, okay. Get some more rocks. I don't think there's any more in there, though. What do you have? A hammer. Mm. It's a hammer as ear. Oh. What? What? Oh. Oh, is that like the thing? Mm, yeah, that it is. Yeah. Hammer and anvil. Yeah, I didn't even. I would have. Yeah, probably think, not have thought of I that. I think that took me ages, and okay. you just did it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was being random, and it worked. So we have to do in these games just do random stuff. That feels better. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal, and stuck an anvil in there. Mate, was that the right order? Sorry, the what's other that? Way? Your ear canal is clogged. Okay. Let's try again. Bloop. Bloop. Anything else we can put in there? Okay, that's probably it then, maybe. Now I can now I can't hear again. What? What did you do? I removed parts of your inner ear. Sorry? What? what? Maybe you don't put both in? Uh. Maybe we're missing something. Oh, what's that? Something on the ground. A stirrup. A stirrup. Stone is vaguely stirrup shaped. Stirrup. Okay, so we did the hammer first. Anvil, stirrup. You can just click them to pick them off. It's just dragging to put them down. Stirrup. 
and, Ooh. and oh. well this it looks like uh, those two are correct so it must be anvil and then those two anvil hammer stirrup oh maybe not then anvil stirrup hammer what the hell is there anything else? Oh. I don't really know what they're meant to be representing. I don't understand. Well, I think they're the bits of your ear. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I don't know which bits of the ear they're meant to be representing. Damn it. Damn you, ear. Must be this. Ha ha. Ha ha. Got fixed. Hey. I can hear again. Thank you, whoever you are. Tell me your secrets now. Try and baby. Can't thank you enough, young man. I don't What's know if your he is name? a baby. He looks like a baby to me. He's a baby. He's definitely a baby. My name is Victor Neff, sir. But what is this place? It's the subconscious realm of dreams. My son's dreams, to be more specific. Your son? Yes, Felix Morton. Have you met him? <laughs> I have. I'm in his fucking dream. That perverted freak, I sure have. No, I'm sure you're mistaken. Young Felix is many things, but not a pivot. Well, a news pivot. For you. A pivot. It's pivotal. I've got news for you, bud. He spied on me and my wife while we slept. I can prove it. I'm sure he had his reasons. I'm sure he did, but we well, don't know that it was pervert. That's why I need to find him. I want to find out what is going on here. I wish I could help you with that, but this place shifts a lot. To create a maze inside one's subconscious requires quite a lot of willpower. If Felix is in here hiding from you, I don't think you're going to be able to find him. I don't think he's hiding, I think he was attacked somehow. In that case, I wish you the best of luck. Wait, how do I find Felix? He's the last in line in the line of Mortons. Get to him last. Oh my god, it's actually kind of obvious now, Good looking luck, at it a second time. Mr. Neff. Why did I have so much trouble? Yeah, I think I've already figured it out. So. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Um, so this is the father. They literally tell you. <laughs> you might have just forgot that it said that. Um, yeah, I must you have. You have to read these. You have to pay attention to a lot of... Well, no, I, I read and, and clicked like every single thing. and But also that made the game take longer. Mm. And I probably didn't do that final bit straight after like hearing those yeah you know to, in my defense i guess but so. it seems so obvious now Ooh, rocks mm, i don't know what the order of this will be there can we just push them all push them all down it's the plan Done. It's fixed. It's fixed. That's how you make baby lenses. <laughs> what? Well, Funny. um, can you put it over the rocks? Mm. I can't remember exactly what you do here. I think I, I feel lens. like you actually put those on eyes, so there must be some other solution. On eyes. Oh. What? No, I might have remembered what you do. Seems to have Ooh. triggered something. Well, what did now you- Now it's like an eye shape. Ah, oh, I did that by accident. Who goes there? My name is Victor Neff, sir. And why have you disturbed me in my sleep, Victor Neff? I'm sorry, sir. I'm trying to find someone. But I don't know where I am. We've had this discussion. What is this place? We didn't want this one. Didn't we? No, it was the grandfather. Uh... This one had that, uh, wait. Did we talk to this one? I, I thought remember. we did. I don't think we did. Yeah, because we, didn't we talk to him and then the other one was XXXXXX and then we changed it? I think this one didn't talk at all. Okay. I think. What is this place? Tell you what, if you do me a favour, okay. I'll give you the answers you seek. What do you want me to do? I can barely see you down there, Victor. My eyes aren't quite what they used to be. If you help me to see sharply again, I'll answer your questions. Deal? deal i've got these glasses from a dead person you can use those i'll be here if you need me here have these Oops. 
me in that one. Boop. That's better, but I still can't see you clearly. Yeah, it's creepy looking. Yes. I'll give you another one too. Yeah. Perfect. You're all good. So, that's what you look like, Victor. Is that what passes for a hairstyle these days? Burn. Oh man, don't make fun of my hair. It is kind of a weird I guess hairstyle. It's because he hasn't been using enough conditioner. I had a haircut today. Yours looks a lot better than his. Thank you. I'd say. Things have certainly changed since my day. But thank you for helping me see. So, we're in the realm where ideas come from? Yes, among other things. Every person has their own allotted piece of this place. But the pieces overlap, and every piece is part of a greater whole. The shared unconscious. Now, tell me, what do you require of me? I'm trying to find a man called Felix Morton. Felix? I've never heard of him. He must have been before my time. Or after. I wish there was more I could do for you. So I'm guessing this is like the great great grandfather, probably. I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Good luck. Good night, sir. Okay, so this is probably the la the one we want to go to first. I can't believe how freaking obvious <laughs> that is. Um, I literally had to Google that and be told that you you do that. I don't remember which ones are which though. Okay, I think I think you want to start at the one that you enter it. So just keep moving until you start there. Possibly, if I'm remembering right. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that one. We've got the first one. We've got that one. You might have to talk to them all, but try this first. What? Okay, this one. Uh, this one? I also get lost easily, so that didn't help. And this one? Maybe? No. What? Um, trim all that? That one. Aha! We did it. You can't threaten me with that anymore. I know what I've done. I'm prepared to accept the consequences. But not before I shut you down. I'll cut you out of every dream if I have to. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's an octopus. Get the axe, quick, save him. Chop it off. You're safe. Jesus. You're saved, sir. There's a little mouth at the end of the tentacle. It's lined with hooked teeth. Damn. Mr. Mor Mr. Morton, are you okay? Hello again, Mr. Neff. I guess you're wondering where you are. What is this place? You're standing in the dreamscape, Mr. Neff. The living, breathing amalgamation of billions of sleeping minds. Each adding their own distinct piece to the puzzle. All connected, belonging to the same world. I'm inside a dream? You're in my dream, as a matter of fact. It doesn't always look like this. It changes slightly each night. But this is where I come when I dream. How did I get here? I think we, we literally know, know here. Yeah. Each sleeping mind is an entryway to a different part of the dreamscape. By using the helmets, you projected your consciousness into my sleeping mind. That's how you ended up here. What is the purpose of the large machine in the basement? It synch synchronizes the brainwaves of two connected minds making it possible to project an awake mind into a sleeping one, as you are doing right now. Did you build it? Only parts of it. My family has been trying to chart the dreamscape for the past four generations. My great-grandfather first posited the idea 
that we all visit a collective unconscious in our sleep. Is that the right word? Yeah. Posited? I'm pretty sure that's it. He wanted to explore it to see if it had a coherent geography. Does it? Yes, but it is ever-changing, ever-evolving. Probably not, then. You can have a physical space that changes, or a geography that changes. Yeah, I guess so. It's still a lot I guess it. so. As people die, we lose parts of it. As new people are born, new areas appear. It's rough, roughly disc-shaped. It's a flat earth. <laughs> As you're born, you appear in the centre. Flat center. earth is all asleep. <laughs> As you're born, you appear in the centre, moving outwards as you age. And then you fall off the edge. Yes, and you fall into space. Eventually reaching the thin, crumbling edge as your life comes to an end. Um, okay. What attacked you in the basement? It was the machine. Recently, we have, we have had differing opinions on how to proceed. A situation that culminated once you discovered my camera, Mr. Neff. Yeah, that creepy camera. Don't think I forgot about that, bud. What was the argument about? Lately, our operation has been getting harder and harder to keep under wraps. I wanted to put it on hold while I sorted things out. But the machine wouldn't let me. I was trying to shut it down. But it attacked me. Awareness and self-preservation go hand in hand, unfortunately. Um, okay, how does a machine like that work? To be honest, I don't fully understand it myself. My great-grandfather built the first prototype. It was crude, barely providing a keyhole's peek into the sleeping mind. My grandfather improved the design by synchronizing the brainwaves of the connected minds. My father and I both added parts here and there, mainly increasing performance and stability. So, your family's been building this thing for four generations? Literally already told us that. He did. I was raised from an early age to continue my family's work. My father instructed me how to operate the machine. Occasionally, he brought me, into, he brought me along with him into the dreamscape. Can you imagine what that was like for a child? Having people's dreams to play in? How would that work, though? Wouldn't he start in the center and his father would be towards the side? We're different ages. We're a different age to him. That's where your dream is. We're going in other people's dreams. Oh. Like, we're your dreamscape. Physically. I see. Who were you talking to I before? Really know. Who was that creepy tentacle? Clearly the machine. I was talking to the machine. It has organic parts and has, after decades of refinement, reached some degree of awareness. Probably shouldn't allow that to happen. No. I've learnt to communicate with it after all these years. Talking machine? A thinking machine. <laughs> it's not really talking. It's more like a whisper in the back of your mind. I wish I could explain all this at greater length, but I'm fading. I'm afraid I won't be with you much longer. Don't die, man. Um, dreams can't hurt you, can they? Dreams can alter your perception of reality. They can change your life. And they certainly can hurt you. People die in their sleep all the time. I don't think it's the same thing, but maybe it is. Maybe we just don't realize. What was it that, you already know this, man. Why are you asking the well, same We know questions? it's the machine. We don't know specifically, I guess, what the tentacle is. The tentacles are the roots of the machine. This bit's important. An extension of it, if you will. The machine resides in both dreams and reality at once. The thing you saw in the basement is but half of it. The roots reside here and draw power from the dreamscape. I thought dreams were all just about wish fulfillment, not an actual place. You're not alone in thinking that. Freud. 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 <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> For instance was the originator of that particular idea but as you can see as you can see around you you're both quite wrong i'm feeling weak hold me but before i leave you there's something i have to ask if i could do it myself i would but i don't have long 
I need you to shut the machine down once and for all. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm my only hope. Obi-Wan pirate man. How do I do that? By cutting off its power supply. The tentacle you saw was one of its roots. That's how it draws power from the dreamscape. But I've already chopped it off. There's more. By now the tentacles have spread to the others in the estate. What have you done, man? You must enter their dreams, just like you entered mine, and make sure it can't draw power there anymore. Why can't I just smash the machine itself? The machine is more than just the clunky thing in the basement. It would be like getting rid of a tick without removing the head. I see. Once all dreams are purged, the machine will shut down properly. Will you grant me this? Will you grant me this? My dying wish? Mm, what's in it for me, bud? What's in it for me, huh? Your wife has been infected as well since I visited her dreams last night. The fuck you doing that, that for, man? Jesus. I'm thinking you're creepy again. I was starting to warm up to you, but... Then I will purge her dream and get the hell out of her. And get the hell out of her, okay. It's her dream, I guess, but... I'm afraid that would only postpone her decrepitude. 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 The machine, if left unstopped, will eventually re-establish in your wife's dream. I'll take my chances. I hope you'll reconsider. Otherwise, the there's no game. <laughs> yeah. I'm the last in the lines of Mortons. With me, my family perishes. What are you going to tell the world about us once we're gone? That you're a pervert. Um, that you used innocent people for your own gain? You kind of did, dude. You did it without yeah. our permission. Could have done this Bloody ethically. Going through our dreams. Perv That's after such all. a exactly, violation. Exactly, Bonkwood. Yeah. I'm with you on that. We weren't monsters. We never meant to harm anyone. What my family did, we did for the benefit of mankind. You see that, don't you? I don't. It's kind of interesting because I'm rewatching Lost, and you know they give Claire the medicine, mm -hmm. but they do it when she's asleep and it's against her will, and they drug her and blah blah blah. And okay, it's something that helped her, but it's still not ethical to do something like that without That's someone's true. consent. That and it's true. the same here. Doesn't matter if yeah, you're doing bud, something good. Go watch some Lost, huh? Yeah. I see nothing but a creep. Then there's nothing more to be said between us. Goodbye, Mr. Neff. Goodbye, I do Sarah. feel a bit sorry for him. Close your eyes. Hush now. Hush. Music sound. It does sound a little bit out of place, actually. It's kind of like cheery, almost. Bye, Mr. Neff. I mean, I'm Mr. Neff. What was that guy's name? Victor. Not Victor. Um, Morton? Morton. Felix Morton. Felix Morton. Goodbye, Felix. You did. You did. Okay, take this off. Take that one. Has he got a key? We need a key. You got a key there, sir? Mr. Morton has passed away. He died trying to shut the machine down. I thought we needed a key to get out of here. Oh, it's gone down one. Indicates how many dreams the machine's draining power from. Mm. Looks like there's five tentacles supplying power to the machine. Alright. We need to get out of here though, Mr. Morden. Well, you got the way you came in. Where's your key? Can we get out that way? Wasn't it the door? Oh yeah. I don't think we can get back out that way. You definitely can get in that room. It's closed uh, shut. Can't see any locks or handles. Okay, what are we gonna do? To require a key. Oh. I think I know what to do. I know. Mr. Morton. Oh, I think I might know. We need your handprint, yeah. sir. Smeared ink on his palm. Okay. Got chop on the off palm his hand. Chop yeah. off his hand. That was my idea. Kind of what should've, I thought too. Should have held onto the X. Because I don't think this would work. No, seems a bit weird. He's got. Oh, he's got an extra. Ooh. 
Jesus, that was a big sneeze, Seymour. Jesus. He's got an extra finger here, look. He's got it does. What the hell? They have so it's much attention to detail and <laughs> aesthetics, and then they do that. He's a fake. Ta-da! Okay, what's going on in here? So after, after we've looked at this room, we might finish up, maybe? Yeah. I don't know when this next chapter kind of... Yeah, I'm not sure either. I feel like the other ones are longer than that first one. Oh, okay. Condensed but, but thoroughly. better, like with more actual story. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. It's usually just like an introduction one. Yeah. Thing, so. I think that was all just setting up the story, really. Contains the remains of burned papers, mostly. Why is he burning all this stuff? Looks like Mr. Morton was trying to destroy evidence before he died. Most of it is completely destroyed, but this little piece seems readable. Cool. Strange device. This must be for the cameras, maybe? I've got a slot indicator. Yeah, it's not for the cameras. Slot. Cylindrical object. Okay. I believe it is related to the cameras, but it's not controlling the cameras. Hmm. TV screens. Got a phone. Safe. Okay. Seems to be a key. Oh, maybe that's how we get out. Damn it. Ah. Uh... Oh no. Wait, we didn't solve that thing with the record player, did we? I don't think you did that yet. Well, yeah. Like, there isn't. I don't think there's much, like, differing order stuff. At least, not stuff that matters. So. Mm. Various books on electrical and mechanical engineering. It's got a map of. The Dreamscape. Ah, is us Edie Jones. He's our next door neighbour. Oh, she's on the edge. Yeah, she's been she's living old. here for some for quite some time. Mr. Morton has had plenty of time to invade her dreams. You sick bastard. Got Salma Theed. To live on the top floor. She's another tenant of Mr. Morton. Uh, tenant Mr. Morton has been visiting. Martin Willard. Must live on the top floor. Same thing. Alicia Neth. Mr. Morton visited her dream last night as we slept. I'll never be able to forgive him for that. This piece is blank. Except for a big question mark. Yeah. I guess this area hasn't been charted yet. That must be like birth or something, because you know, you said you start in the middle. There's no one young enough. Hmm. 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 That must be what's her name and her guests. Her guests, yeah. This camera overlooks somebody's dining room. If I'm not mistaken, this is our next door neighbor's bridge party. And maybe that's why there was no one upstairs. Times. Maybe they were the guests. Guess. Look, well, you can see the mover. Mover. You bastard. Okay. Just don't worry about that right now. Guess. Can we guess people? That's kind of creepy. Wow, we can change channels. See what's on the, see what's on the box. What's I that? think it, it's the same. Like this is actually pointless. That's just doing other views you've already got up there. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's only nine views. Can we put them in order? You can if you want. I don't think it matters. Oh, okay. So I was just saying, there's more cameras in the apartment. Where is that? It's Alicia. Alicia, G. Oh my God, Alicia, you're. Just scary, Alicia. She's sleeping. Alicia. What happened to her? I want to put these in order. This is important. It's not. It is. We have to make sure we've got all the channels up. In case there's clues. What's this one? Uh, upstairs ones. He's there. Everybody's sleeping. 
What about us guys? He's well, sleeping. Not everyone. Oh, maybe they are all sleeping. He's not sleeping. I don't think they are all sleeping. What does this do? Oh. Guess, huh? Maybe that wakes people up or something. Who knows? I know. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I was like, this bit I actually remember, but I obviously can't tell you. Okay, what did we get? We got a paper. New safe code. There you go. Uh, Alright, we got arrows. Okay. Hmm. Those are the same ones that were on the other piece of paper. On the wall. Yes. Yes. Is it going to be one, three, seven, seven, nine, one? I'm just wondering if you were meant to keep the screens how they were. Nope. Well, I've screwed it up if we were. If you, see if you go out and in if it changes. Nope. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It doesn't matter what order the screens uh, are in. Oh, I see. I see now. So it'll be one... I can't remember what Six, ones they were. Nine. Nine. Oh. You can examine it on the from the screen. One six nine nine three one. One six nine nine three one should be. One six nine nine three one. Seems to have locked the safe. Oh god. Open it. Pick up the master key. A little master key. Alright, we can actually get out of here now. Let's go. No, get out of the way. Put it in the lock. Maybe we can open the um, mailboxes now. It's very important that we do this. No, at least she needs my help right now. I want to see the mail. She literally just got like put in the ear and dropped, and she's pregnant and she's your wife. Mm, there could be important clues in the mail though. <laughs> Alicia. Is this why we aren't married? You're too busy checking mailboxes. <laughs> Maybe. She seems to have fallen asleep, just like Mr. Morton did. I'm an abbey belabelable to wake her. Okay, we gotta enter the dreams and save her. Uh, 